crude desires, and you're just left with big, giant brain. Okay, big brain that doesn't fall in love, that uh, doesn't desire to sleep with its neighbor's wife, that doesn't, uh, you know, have a hunger for a, a cow burger. Okay, yeah, what's a big brain going to do? Oh, I, I think I'll read a book. Oh, well, no, if there's no emotion, what the fuck would the book be worth? Oh, yeah, nothing. Uh, I'm going to think about moons and things. Yes, pretty colors. I think about pretty col. Oh, no, pretty colors are only, like, interesting because I have an emotional feeling towards them. I like pink and blue. Yeah. What? You can't go anywhere. This is a game of consumption and reproduction, and for sentient organisms, that means desire, which is just addiction. Unexplain that. Unexplain how evolution has got some other ingredient in it, and that intelligence has some other function but to please sentient organisms, to, to allow them to construct schemes to gain satisfaction. What else can intelligence do but solve problems? There's nothing else for intelligence to do. You know why you don't have an answer to that question is because to, is to push beyond the boundaries of that is to escape something like your own mind. What you're at is on the verge, you're on the horizon of your own or, organic, uh, you know, tool inside of your body and it's not possible because the state right. okay, no, of the way our organic Jesus. genetic you're talking complete shit because if you knew Jesus well, man, you would be talking talk that for more than 30 crap. seconds you've man. got to know fucking Jesus because Jesus will fill your heart Jesus is the way to go no it's Jesus Jesus let go of the unicorn let go of the, and, and grab hold of Jesus you're preaching Jesus to me man real. get a get a relationship with God and let go of the unicorn I mean you're just talking shit It's not shit. I'm talking. Get your head out of this yeah, organic Yeah, get your head out of reality and stick it reality up a fantasy's ass. ass. A fantasy that has no description. A heaven that has no description. You're just talking out of your, your fucking ass, saying there's magic in the the dust out there. I can't describe it to you because you're too stupid. You have an ignorant human earthly brain and only us phantasmagorical unicorn people can see the unicorn. So, you know, until you, until you let go of reality and grab hold of the sparkly dust, you're not going to be able to understand because your brain is going to be primitive. I mean, fuck you. So, so you really Don't give me one goddamn <laughs> fact, not one single piece of evidence of any such thing beyond consumption and reproduction and a brain as a problem solver. Nothing else. You just said, well, uh, I can imagine it. I can't describe it, but I can imagine it. I mean, what is that shit? That's of no value as an argument. I'm supposed to accept your opinion that there's a phantasmagorical reality out there that my brain can't see, and you're just going to tell me it exists. The Invisible Man exists. Just trust me. Trust me. It exists. The Invisible World exists. Trust me. Well, no, you gotta oh, no. describe no. it. You okay, let me talk now. Existence. It's been like four minutes. Why? Man. You're just gonna right. talk more fucking no, religion. No, I'm not actually. I'm gonna, just gonna try to talk explain more to you. fucking complete bullshit. No. Come up with a fucking fact. It's a conversation, so let the other side speak a little bit, alright? Alright, so you really think that you, today in the 21st century, 2010, this particular moment in this vast billion year long time scheme, you right now, the conclusions you're making is the best that we're ever going to get. You know, fact. like you're the fucking fact. pedigree of intelligence fact. right now, and you, you understand no reality. No again, you, you gave no fucking fact. fact. Shut the fuck up. That's not a fact. Somebody can, can say that forever. Forever. People will say those words to each other. No, you don't get it. No, there's more facts to come. We're going to learn more stuff. Trust me. Trust me. We're going to learn more stuff. They will say that forever. Okay? There's no end to that. That can go on forever. That is meaningless mush. You're saying we're too stupid. Okay? They'll keep saying that forever. You can say we don't have enough information forever. We do. We know the world is fucking round. We know we evolved from a cell that reproduced itself. We know the world, the universe, there's no evidence of anything other dumb. than dumb fucking matter. Okay? We understand the crude forces of evolution and survival of the fittest. There's no evidence that we need to know anymore. We know what we are. We are fucking psychology. Desperate, addicted psychology. Chasing bullshit. Chasing 
an illusion of accomplishment, an illusion that just satisfies our fucking ego, okay? That's all we're doing. We're a fucking rat chasing imaginary fucking cheese. Yes, yes I, I have drawn the conclusion. It will never be disproven. It will, in fact, be verified. Okay, well, thank you for recapping your general theory of reality for the hundredth time so we can all hear you again repeat the same shit. The same thank okay, you now for not providing a single counter-argument made out of anything rational. Not no, one just, rational counter-argument. for a second and shut up so people can talk. No, man. you're not going to make a counter-argument. You're just going to talk actually. more mm -hmm. bullshit. Like arm, Are you an empiricist? Do you believe... I don't have yeah, to you, be. I, I don't have to be. You've demonstrated your inability to provide a fucking argument. No, I have not, man. You've demonstrated your ability to stick in tautologies all night. That's all you ever do, is stick in this same simplistic Oh, yeah, paradigm. I stick... I you stick never get out of it, man. A real world it's the same where shit evidence every night, every is part of video. argument. I mean, evidence. <laughs> It's so goddamn simplistic, and for you to have the arrogance to think that you're out at the pedigree of truth right now is fucking laughable. Because okay, it's just you're like looking back at you're some out monkey the room. who Good has night, some kind of hard. idea Good of night, truth. asshole. I'd like to interject okay, if go I ahead. may. Um, Gary, um, I haven't been able to glean this from my interaction with you or through watching your videos. However, I'm wondering if you actually are an epistemological nihilist. Do you think that human knowledge is inherently meaningless? Um, that it can't ever, or nothing ever, can be gauged, measured, or studied? Of course not. I, I advocate exactly the opposite, that we have to understand what we're made out of, how we're constructed, to understand what use we might have, if we can possibly accomplish anything. I certainly am not a nihilist because I believe suffering is the paramount, most important thing in the fucking universe, and that that is a functionality for our intelligence is to be devoted to minimizing the losses of this insane, stupid, cheese-chasing game that accomplishes absolutely fucking nothing nothing. So I'm a nihilist in the sense that I'm a feudalist. Okay, I believe we cannot accomplish anything positive. All we can do is clean up part of the dog shit that is smeared on everything. Then how can you dismiss Apropos' claim that we can transcend our current state through study, through, uh, through learning? Um, I mean, if you because say the brain, brain is just a problem solver. It has no purpose beyond solving problems. We have identified the problem. The problem is consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, and addiction as being the formula of life. You can't make anything good with those ingredients. You can't succeed. All you can do at best if you perfect this game is create a zero-sum game. You can't create a positive game, so there's no game to be played except cleaning up this fucking mess. We can be janitors, use our brains to be good janitors, game over. Um, I agree that the brain is a utility, but a utility, a tool, can construct things greater than itself. Well, take, for example, parasites, people, um, the Swedish. Um, and a simple Allen wrench can construct an intricate piece of furniture like a book, a bookshelf or a table. Um, a tool is very powerful. Again, to serve crude, stupid, cheese-chasing ambitions that come at a huge cost. Okay, your little beef burger that you make with your fucking Allen wrench, okay, cost a cow, it's, it's suffering, okay, you, you twisted a pig's nuts off with your fucking tools that you made with your fucking brain, okay, so fuck your, your use of your tool, you fucking used your tools poorly to serve self-interest and accomplished nothing but creating suffering in the end. In the end, you created more suffering than you ameliorated, you you, and any value that your little moments of orgasm have were flushed down the toilet by the cost of them. But isn't suffering itself a utility? Doesn't suffering beget invention or creation? Um, yeah, I'll go yeah, talk to the elephant man, man about man. that, or go talk to somebody right now who's uh, suffering, hard suffering, and I'm sure they're going to tell you that, no, its utility value works for about three and a half seconds, and then it just becomes a nagging pain in the ass.
Yeah, whatever. It's just, it's just so disappointing. I mean, you know, people, you got to have a conversation with people, and they just, they, like I said, they just keep making this up. Like, oh, no, I know that if we find the leprechaun gold, there's going to be a map to using our intelligence. It'll be a special little map that'll explain to us exactly how to use our brains to make our penises bigger. It's going to be so fucking kick-ass. I mean, there's just nothing to do here. The only thing we can do is eat and fuck and rub our bellies and such, but that's it. You, you please the sentient, mushy, little feely thing, and that's it. You know, go fuck yourself, you fucking cunt. Get the fuck out of here. Go fucking play with yourself, you assholes. You have no fucking life. You have no fucking life. Oh, you don't have a dick, so there'd be no fucking use in me even attempting to suck what you don't have. I'm sorry, I was just arguing with some jackass who was PMing me. Jizuki. Fucking cunt. I agree with you on certain points, though, Gary. I certainly don't believe that evolution has a meaning or a purpose. Um, I don't think we're ever going to transcend to a higher state of consciousness or develop something greater than ourselves. But at the same time, I, I tend to disagree. I mean, I do see a lot of suffering in the world, but I don't think it's without meaning. Um, not to say that I'm a fatalist, but I believe that this is ultimately going to lead to something wonderful or magical, as you would put it. But I, I think that a lot of this can be yet wonderful things. That good can come out of all this suffering and evil and torment. Um, it's not all bad. Yeah, well, this, that all works if, like, say I got an orgasm by wiping a 90-year-old man's ass in a nursing home. So if, like, I could get my rocks off, like, picking up other people's garbage every day as a job, you know, okay, maybe this, this works. But that's not the reality. Reality is we do all this fucking work, we live through all this mediocrity to die of some horrific, horrible disease in some horrific, stinking, lousy, wet manner. Um, and and be, in between, we go through a couple of divorces and we get frying pan lumps on our heads or, you know, we get hemorrhoids or some other crap happens to us. And you know, for what? Okay? And then most people are living with a bunch of worms in their fucking, fucking organs. Okay? A bunch of shit worms, a little shit gnawing at them. That's how most humans are living. And then we haven't even gotten to the animal kingdom, which is just the carnage is obscene. Just motherfucking obscene. You know, uh, you get to have a honeymoon for about a week, and then it's just fucking hell. I mean, it, it, come on. This is a shithole. This is a bunch of fucking feeling things eating each other. There's no fucking way you can make any sense out of it. I think I misjudged you, Gary. Um, your disillusionment isn't with life or the human condition, but the nature of altruism. Um, you're disgusted that everyone's actions are related to their ego. Um, I actually like that. I admire you. Well, I don't know if that's how I'd phrase it. I'm I'm disgusted that we're willing to to play dice with other people's welfare. That we're just willing to say, okay, well, I liked getting molested, so I'm going to molest kids. I mean, I had a great life living in North America in the richest country in the world. So yeah, I'm going to have a baby or two, and I don't give a fuck about them, though, of course, because I'm not going to make sure the world is suitable for them to live in, and I'm certainly not going to be able to guarantee that they're not going to get cancer when they're six years old. And if they do, well, I'll be sure to give them plenty of chemo, even though I wouldn't go through it. I think the kid should definitely go through some good old chemo. It'll be fun for the kid. Uh, he'll get a, it'll be a good experience for him, good learning experience. I mean, we're just playing dice with the fucking other sentient creatures. How the fuck can any of us feel good about that? We're all playing Frankenstein. This is disgusting. <laughs>